Homicide 1912, the case of 30-year-old Frank Jordan. Frank Jordan was convicted of the manslaughter of Charlotte Catherine Jeeves. He beat her to death with a flat iron at her home at 62 Ballam Grove in Ballam on the 6th of June 1912. Frank Jordan said that he and Catherine Jeeves often had quarrels when they were in drink, which he said was quite frequently. He said that on the 5th of June 1912 that he had been out drinking all day and that the next day he got to 62 Ballam Grove at about midday or 1pm. He said that only Charlotte Jeeves was there and that he only had a vague recollection of what happened. He said that she started rowing with him and then suddenly jumped on him and said, I will either murder you, Frank, or you will me. He said that she then picked up a flat iron and threw it at him and then made a rush at him with both hands and said that he then struck her and she fell down, partly because of the blow and partly because of the drink that she had had. Frank Jordan said that Charlotte Jeeves then got up and said, I am not done yet. He said that she had the flat iron in her hand and punched him about the ribs with it and that he tried to take it from her. He said that then that she raised it and aimed to strike his head with it but he dodged and it struck her own head. Frank Jordan said that he had no clear recollection of what followed saying that he was so much dazed with the drink and the quarrel but said that he must have snatched the iron away in the struggle and struck her with it. Charlotte Jeeves' daughter said that Charlotte Jeeves had separated from her father about two years earlier, although she said that Charlotte Jeeves had made the acquaintance of Frank Jordan about three years earlier. She said that Frank Jordan would visit Charlotte Jeeves at Letchworth Street in Tooting, where they had lived earlier and would generally stay the night. The daughter said that Frank Jordan left England in September 1910 and returned around May 1912 and said that she had been with her mother in the George Hotel in Balham when they had met Frank Jordan again by chance. She said that after that she saw Frank Jordan at her mother's house several times. The daughter said that about two weeks before the crime, Frank Jordan gave Charlotte Jeeves a sovereign to buy a hat and said that they went out together to get it. She said that when they got back, they were both rather intoxicated, but said that Frank Jordan stayed the night. The daughter said that two days later she heard Frank Jordan threaten Charlotte Jeeves with the wash hand jug, saying, I will knock your bee brains out with this jug. She added that Frank Jordan was not sober when he said it. The daughter said that she saw Charlotte Jeeves at about 12.45pm on the 6th of June 1912 and then left her shortly after at about 1.30pm and that during that time Charlotte Jeeves had only had one drink and seemed pretty well, noting that there were no signs of injuries about her. The daughter said that she didn't see Charlotte Jeeves alive again. However, she said that later that evening as she was going home at about 8pm she met Frank Jordan and said that he said, I have killed your mother. I only wish I had not. Will you come round? The daughter said that Frank Jordan had had some drink and that she followed him round to 62 Ballam Grove. She said that she wanted to go into the back kitchen where Charlotte Jeeves was lying but said that Frank Jordan pushed her back and said, You can't go in. Fetch a policeman or I will cut my throat. However, she said that some men came up and took Frank Jordan away and that she then went into the kitchen and saw Charlotte Jeeves. When the doctor arrived at about 10pm, he said that there was much blood coming from a serious wound to Charlotte Jeeves' head. He said that there was a flat iron on the floor and that had blood on hair on it. The doctor said that he carried out a post-mortem on the 9th of June 1912 and found that Charlotte Jeeves had four large scalp wounds on top of her head. He said that there was a very extensive wound behind her right ear and a smaller one on her neck and that her skull was fractured. He said that all of the wounds could have been inflicted with the flat iron. The doctor said that when he examined Frank Jordan at the police station, he found that he smelt very strongly of drink and was unsteady in his walk and that there were no signs of injuries about him. Frank Jordan was convicted of manslaughter and sentenced to eight years penal servitude. It was noted that he had previously been convicted of wounding a prostitute with whom he had been living in April 1909, for which he was sentenced to three months. Ballam Grove has since been redeveloped, with the place where 62 Ballam Grove would have been being replaced with modern housing. However, the houses on the opposite side of the street are still period structures.